Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I would like to call upon Professor Emerita Jan Bolger to present Western University's land acknowledgement. Congratulations to all of our graduating students and a warm Western welcome to all of our families and friends celebrating with us today. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandaron peoples who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of Southwestern Ontario and the city of London. The local First Nation communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nation communities and a growing indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Turtle Island. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university founded 140 years ago. We welcome you to the Western family. And again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Farah Mohammed, an acknowledgement of her outstanding achievements as a champion of people across Canada and around the world in need of a voice and for giving back to women and girls. As a Western alumna, founder of Girls 20 Summit and CEO of Mala, Malala Fund. We celebrate her passion as a role model for cultivating and mentoring the next generation of global leaders. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Dr. Ahmed Chakma, President and Vice Chancellor. It is my great honor this afternoon to introduce a Western alumna who has distinguished herself in the realm of Canadian politics and as an influential global leader who is empowering youth and women to change our world for the better, Farah Muhammad. In 1972, at the age of two, Farah Mohammed and our family were expelled from their home in Uganda by then President Idi Amin. Like tens of thousands of people of Indian heritage living in Uganda at the time, Farah's parents were forced to uproot their lives due to a government policy of prejudice and intolerance. This traumatic experience had a profound impact on how Farah's parents would see the world and raise their daughters when they eventually made a new home after emigrating to Canada. Education, political engagement, and community service became the foundation of the upbringing that would shape Farah's young life and help pave the road to her future success. Volunteering at nursing homes and her local mosque was a big part of her formative high school years prior to earning an entrance scholarship to Queen's University. A strong academic, Farah chose to continue her post-secondary studies here at Western. 
where she earned a master's degree in political science and international relations. It was during this period she, earned, she entered the realm of federal politics, at first as a volunteer for Burlington liberal candidate Fadi Tursney during the 1993 election, then ascending through successive positions as the Director of Communications for Anne McClellan, who served as Minister of Health, Minister of Justice, and Deputy Prime Minister. Life on Parliament Hill prepared for a while for her next career ship in 2004, when she was appointed Vice President of Partnership and Government Relations for the Victorian Order of Nurses, Canada's largest not-for-profit home and community care organization. Then in 2007, Farah discovered her passion for international development when she challenged herself to climb Tanzania's Mount Kilimanjaro as part of a fundraising initiative for the VON and the Canadian Labour Foundation. She used that occasion to visit neighboring Uganda for the first time since her family's expulsion from, that, from the country of her birth in 1972. Farah was shaken by the poverty she witnessed in Uganda which proved to be a life-changing experience that prompted her to reevaluate her personal goals and professional aspiration. Serendipitously, an opportunity knocked shortly thereafter when former Liberal MP Belinda Stronach approached Farah to help establish a new foundation, one whose mission would be to leverage the potential of disadvantaged youth to effect positive change at home and abroad. As president of the Belinda Stronach Foundation, Farah used her political and media savvy to partner with individuals, other foundations, NGOs, government and business to launch social enterprise projects such as the One Laptop Per Child Canada, which since 2010 has delivered educational technology to more than 17,000 indigenous youth in 70 plus communities across the country. In 2010, Farah also founded Girls 20 Summit, an annual event that invites women aged 18 to 20 gathered from countries around the world ahead of the G20 Summit to develop their leadership skills and generate ideas for bringing greater economic empowerment to women. Then in 2017, in her ongoing quest to improve the lives of girls and women around the world, Farah accepted a new challenge as the CEO of the Malala Fund. Founded in 2013, the fund is inspired by Malala Yousafzai, the Pakistani student who at age 15 miraculously survived an assassination attempt by the Taliban in retaliation for her determination to speak out in support of female rights to education. The fund's mission is ambitious and profoundly simple in its clarity, to champion every girl's right to 12 years of free, safe, quality education. As CEO, Farah's role is to guide and expand the fund's advocacy and investment in education initiatives around the world, and to amplify the stories of girls who are making a difference at the local, national, and international level. Like her alma mater here at Weston, Farah is dedicated to cultivating and mentoring the next generation of global leaders. And so it is in recognition of these noble ideals and many achievements, Mr. Chancellor, in the name of the Senate, that it gives me great pleasure to ask that Western confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, upon Farah Muhammad. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Mohammed.
On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Farah Muhammad, to address convocation. Chancellor, Mr. President, Board of Governors, members of the Platform Party, graduates, proud parents, and friends, thank you for allowing me to share your stage today. I'm honored and I'm humbled to be among you. It's been 22 years since I graduated with my Master's of Arts from this very university. They say that time flies, and indeed it has, and with it, times have really, really changed. The year that I graduated, Mad Cow hit Britain. Today, it's Donald Trump hitting the world. In 1996, DVDs were released in Japan. Today, DVDs have been replaced by Netflix, iTunes, and AirDrop. Two decades ago, there were only 10 million people using the internet. Today, there are 4 billion. And last but not least, to really put things in perspective as to how things have really changed, in 1996, Prince Charles and Lady Diana divorced while just one month ago, we witnessed an African-American actress from Tinseltown marrying into British royalty. I promise you that one day, you'll be saying the same thing. I remember when. And of course, your list will be very different from mine. Despite the many years between us, I can relate to what you're feeling. I remember how it felt to leave university in search of my dream, to wonder if I'd have the opportunity to see the world, to use my skills, to break new ground, to liberate, to engage, to challenge, and to find my passion. I recall the pain in my gut when I thought about leaving a safe and comfortable place for a world unknown. I also wondered in the, where in the world I would use the irrationality of the square root of two. Truth be known, I'm still trying to figure that one out. What I did not realize was the following, that with time I'd begin to celebrate what makes me different rather than try to fit in that I could disagree with somebody with every fiber in my being and still respect their point of view, that forgiveness and fun are the best F words in the world, <laughs> that listening, really, really listening, is often more powerful than talking, that in a world of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, humility is more important than hubris. I've been humbled many times over the years. The one that sticks with me is this. Last July, I had an opportunity to travel to Iraq and Kurdistan with Malala, my 20-year-old boss. A short distance from Mosul, Iraq's second largest city, which had just been under Islamic State control until just before our arrival, we visited a camp for IDPs, internally displaced people. We sat on a concrete floor with girls between the ages of 15 to 20, each of them sharing their dreams and their struggles. One girl in particular, told us how she changed her destiny, and today, rather than be a child bride, she is pursuing her education. Because of the grit of this 16-year-old girl and her belief in herself, one day she will do what I did today. She'll wake up, she'll put on her dress, her heels, and instead of walking down an aisle, she will walk across a stage like this one and receive an education certificate rather than a certificate of marriage. I will not forget her story, or the story of millions of girls who do not have the privilege that we do to stand on a stage like this one and graduate. It's not lost on me as I watch the news, and today, for those who do not know, it's World Refugee Day. As I see the horrific images of children being torn from their mothers and fathers while in search of the same thing we search for every day, all of us, safety, security, and opportunity, that I too came here as a refugee. My parents had to flee a country where they were no longer welcome. Thank God they arrived in a country that did not assume we were criminals first and human beings second. And every day I am thankful that they, threw, they chose Canada. Thankful that my mom and my dad were able to come here. Thankful that I continue to learn. And thankful that I have the opportunity to lead. So after you cross the stage today, I hope you will take it upon yourselves to help get the world back on track. If you've ever doubted your responsibility in the role, and, and your role in the world, stop. Please stop. You are needed now more than ever. You are a generation with tools at your fingertips that no other generation has had before. You can communicate across the world without spending a dime. You can order an exotic item from a far off land with a click and have it delivered to your doorstep overnight. 
You can belong to a community of people who have never met in person. And while all of this is progress, it does come with a cost. Because you're also a generation of women and men who run the risk of living, of living in isolation, of never knowing what it means to look at someone in the eye when you're negotiating, of missing out on the feel of a handshake or a hug. This matters because when we do not connect with other people, when we live in isolation, when we do not find what unites us but only see what divides us, we run the risk of seeing people who are different from us as our enemies. Is that really the kind of world in which we want to live? I am quite sure that every single one of us does not want to live in that kind of world. So as you transition to the real world, as they call it, I ask that you do, that you be critical and cooperative, be bold and be brave, challenge rather than conform, and finally, in the words of a smart and influential 21st century leader who is making the world a better place, and to be clear, I'm talking about Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> be kind to one another. Thank you and good luck. Thank you for, for your uh, thoughtful and inspiring address. You have been a champion of women and girls as well as people in need of someone to speak up for their rights. As an alumna of Western, you have inspired and will continue to inspire students and graduates who hope to make a difference in the world. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating our newest honorary Doctor of Laws, Dr. Farah Mohammed. I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present a distinguished colleague who is recipient of the Distinguished University Professor Award. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The Distinguished University Professor Award is Western's highest recognition for a faculty member. The award is presented in honor of sustained excellence in teaching, research, and service, accomplished during an outstanding scholarly career at Western. Will Dr. Helene Barman please step forward? Dr. Barman is a professor in the Faculty of Health Sciences, Arthur Labatt Family School of Nursing, a fellow in the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences, and founding academic director of the Center for Research on Health Equity and Social Inclusion. Her research program, funded by CIHR, SSHRC, and Status of Women Canada addresses the subtle and explicit forms of violence experienced by women and children. Helen recently led a CIHR teen grant focused on the health impacts of structural violence on youth in Canada. Her contributions are nationally and internationally recognized, and Barman credits much of her success to the remarkable students, colleagues, and young people with whom she has been privileged to work. Mr. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you Dr. Helen Barman, recipient of the Distinguished University Professor Award. The candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates, please rise. Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their degree requirements at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated?
Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, and distinguished guests, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today, we honor those graduating students who through hard work, determination, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Alumni Western that numbers more than 293,000 alumni in 150 different countries in the world. Mr. David Simmons, past president of our Alumni Association is here and I'd ask him to please stand and be recognized. Western Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Ms. Kathy Barkhart Jason, representing our Board of Governors, and I would ask her to please stand and be recognized. <clears throat> I would like to extend a very special welcome to Mr. Peter Devlin, president of Fanshawe College and a proud graduate of this university who is joining us today to celebrate the awarding of degrees to graduates of the joint Western Fanshawe Collaborative Nursing Program. Peter, would you please stand and be recognized. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives and friends of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. Now I ask our graduating students to rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. We'll now proceed with the granting of degrees, diplomas and certificates. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First. As a courtesy to all our graduates and their families, please hold your applause and other special forms of expressions of joy <laughs> until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. This will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. We take pride in our convocation ceremonies and we would like this to be a very special occasion for all of you particularly our graduates. Let me elaborate how this is going to unfold. So first, we're going to grant degrees to our PhD candidates. So once the class is done, and this particular afternoon we have two, then we'll kind of cheer them up. And then we'll grant degrees three at a time. And of course their names will be called one after the other. It is at this point in time, it is very important for us not to uh, end up uh, engage in any joyful activities. Hold your applause, please, because we want to hear their names. And we try to cheer them up at the end of each class. When the class is large, public auditors will make sure that there is appropriate interval between groups of students and just follow their cue. You know, you cannot possibly miss it. If we all do that, I think the event will move very smoothly. Second, we know that photographs are important. 
for our graduates, their family, and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photograph of this special occasion. Therefore, we request that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremony, and of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Natalie Giannotti. Kay Valley. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Laws. Cassian Erdes Gosler. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Nursing. Brittany Fiddler, Eleanor Rachel Maris Rogers, Jaylene Dempenas Urbano. Sydney Truelove. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Health Sciences for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing Compressed Program. Jesse Bayer, Gold Medalist. Erin Maureen Blanchard. Catherine Bouton.
Paige Brennan, Christina Carlisi, Adrian Joseph Catrice. Alexis Chang, Alexandra Lauren Charma, Samantha Dendryer. Jordan Dunlop, Alexandra Esposito, Clarice Feta. Emma Fioret, Jessica Fletcher, Adam Gone, Nicole Gleason, Sonia Godmeyer, Maggie Gordon. Chantal Graf, Hilary Graham, Sasha Michelle Grogan. Danielle Hunter, Nick Ivanov, Hannah Jim. Melanie Johnson, Orly Kashti, Fred Kim. Karom Emma Kim, Erica Kim, Jocelyn Klompmaker. Victoria LaBelle, Legan, Michelle Legan, Rihanna Longo. Laura Luigi, Janet Lother, Kesson Lou. Bobak Makui, Shay Makari, Sarah Muhlendikes.
Jacqueline Mielik, Cassandra Molika, Kristen Elizabeth Morley. Brenna Murray, Marionette Golain DNA, Bryn Ostvik, Julie Pearson, Adrian Powell, Alexandra Prosterman, Austin Pugh, Stephanie Robinson, Megan Roselle. Mesa Sadie. Monica Sarmiento Jimenez, Thera Shanna Sivipollen. Serena Smith, Stephen Stanley, Bren Brendan Van Dyken. <laughs> Opal Waters, Sally Yi Wei, Sarah Wilkin. Tess Jana Winter, Christine Ray Gold Medalist, Amanda Zotel. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing Collaborative Nursing Program. William A.J. Yeboen, Daniel James Ahong, Laura Alaguna Sanchez. Megan Mary Alderdice, Mackenzie Morgan Dominique Anderson, Rachel Anderson. Jaron Anderson Johnson, Haley Akalina, Taylor Marie Arding.
Emily Suzanne Arsenault, Sheridan Luana Austin, Kelsey Baker. Elizabeth Amy Barbon, Emily Ann Eaton, Joanna Barjelinski. Monique Michaela Alana Barnes, Catherine Adele Berry, John Bell. Julie Patricia Burkmortel, Ikra Bati, Sydney Bingham. Mary Borg, Sashka Borkovic. Vanessa Borovitz. Emma Rose Brash, Megan Bryson, Carly Marie Buchholz. Holly Mackenzie Rose Burgess, Kiana Jade Campbell, Cynthia Jacqueline Carter. Rebecca Alexandra Sedano Flatus, Selena Iris Chang, Haley Evangeline Chapman. Myrie Chaudhary. June E. Chen, Kaz Kolichinsky. Barbara Chianyevsky, Julie Michelle Clinton, Courtney Cook. Graham Cook, Nicole Anastasia Corbier, Kathy Corneo. Juanita Gabriela Cineo. Rachel Creighton, Amy Marie Krober.
Hanna Christy Curry, Samina Rustam Damji, Anna Daniluk. Cameron Dennis Rosenveld, Simon Kenneth Day, Ashley Elizabeth DeBaker. Madison Dillon, Megan Donaldson, Shannon Dumont. Joanne Duong, John Wayne Ducas Eugenio. Nicole Ruby Faber. Riley Ann Featherston, Roman Fetterchuk, Brandy May Feeney. Dwayne Fernandez, Tara Fernley, Gabrielle Lee Fink. Natalie Fleck, Sarah Marie Folius, Rebecca Ann Galen. Amel Gibra Selassie, Olivia Georgeopolis, Jessica Lee Gilkinson. Kayla Glanz, Alexis Ann Gordon, Monica Helen Graham. Victoria Greta, Natalie Green, Hannah Lorraine Gregor. Jesse Grenier, Alexandra Elizabeth Gritter, Amy Groneveld. Jihi Ha, Olivia Rosemary Ha, Marlene Haynes, gold medalist. Mm -hmm. 
Lamia Hawk, Deanna Chantel Hartley, Sarah Jane Hasib. Shaikisa Simone Henry, Clarissa Hicks, Jared Andrew Heemstra. I do. <laughs> Vanessa. Lynn Mai Hodgins, Rachel Dawn Hookstra, Heather Ann Hood. Erica Hua, Kelly Huang, Dunya Hassan Jabbar. Karina Jacob, Sarah Emily Johnstone, Carly Elizabeth Minto Jones. Lydia Mariana Josipovich, Alexa Jovicevich, Sharon Juru. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been very patient. Let's take a moment to congratulate those who have crossed the stage. Janine Kadri, Harris Caruanas, Riley Noel K. Lauren Kelly, Philip Kenyon, Veronica. Kielb. Angela King, William Classen, Cassidy May Knights. Cameron Mark Cummins, Farah Kusa, Andrea Krebs. Joanna Campula, Cara Pauline Laidlaw. Sarah Lazar. Catherine Lee, Ha Un Lee, Jisu Lee.
Angela Erin Leroy, Kylie Patricia McLeod, Paulina Danielle Magno. Austin Mancal, Zoe Robin Cecil Mason, Paula Camilla Mayorga. <laughs> Ashley Mazarol, Alicia McMillan, Jack. Lorne Mould. <laughs> Haifa Musa, Dominic Adam Moroviets, Kelsey Marie Murray. Riley Nafziger, Kelly Ann Neal, Lloyd Matthew Newfield. Monica Nguyen, Nancy Nguyen. Aaron Sheila O'Connell. <laughs> Kaylin O'Rourke. Kelly Ann Page. Nikki Pang. Sojung Park, Andrea Victoria Parsons, Kiera Pepin. Sonia Pereira, Dang Pham, Sandra Than. Fun. Katie Olivia Pierce, Alexandra Pressy, Kaylin Elizabeth Pretty. Natalie Prusco, Nicole Prusco, Alisa Pucci. <laughs> Lindsay Nicole Rainville. Brindley Calvin Bruce Ramsey, Alyssa Reale.
Jordan Rypak, Caitlin Marie Risk, Hannah Louise Roberts. Nikita Rocha, Madison Rose Romph, Nikita Taylor Root. Jessica Ruiz Torres, Zeynab Sadr, Lakfir Kor Sanghera. Kate Robin Saris, Jessica Christine Sorunsky, Larissa Genevieve Scruton. Siun Sa, Brooke Ann Louise Shepherd, Justine Emily Short. Emma Simpson, Emily Elizabeth Suarez, Joylin Maliza May Sopoko. Sarah Sutherland, Brett Christine Tanner. Kayla Rose Thompson. Laura Catalina Tiuso Becerra. Nicole Emily Todd. Chelsea Louise. Hoth. Judy Tran, Craig Vamos, Tegan Alex Vandermark. Amanda Eileen Van Dinther, Megan Marie Van Eyck, Wayne Van Hardeveld. Jacqueline Marie Vanden Weingart, Kayla Danielle Vandeschur, Ryan Van Krunenberg. James Van Severin, Emily Ruth. Vens, Chantal Catherine Vienno. Yeah. 
Caitlin Marie Walsh, Annetta Weck, Alicia Weiss. Michaela Catherine Wilkes, Rosemary Joy Yamomo, Jeremy Yang. Jordan J. Yumul, Matthew Gabriel Zakaria, Carmen Zolotovskaya. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Law for the degree Juris Doctor. Mohammed Abdel Hadi, Aster Abekasis, Nusaiba Al Azam. Hannah Allen, Logan Emily Allison, John Alsbergas. Christopher Arujo, Amritpal Athwal, Nicholas. Avis. Travis Bertrand, Tamar Beton, Jack Blazowski. James Eric Boyd, Golgune Bozorgzad, Andrew Roger Browett. Alan Kelvin William Brown, Emma Lynn. Brown, Jack Derek Ross Brown. Jara Brunt, Megan Kathleen Carlson, Taylor Loreen Carson. Claire Chapman, David Staniforth Chapman, William Theodore James Chapman.
Jennifer Catherine Cherniak, Priya Chopra, Ashley Chu. Matthew Clarfield, Brendan Archie James Cloutier, Ryan Jamie Cohen. Laura Creamy, Angela Crowley, Danielle D'Alonso, Engie Ekram Daniels, Courtney Davis, Rachel Davis. Roberto Di Pasquale, Mark Di Pier Domenico, Alexandra Maria Desenzo. Dylan Dilks, Paul Nicholas Demerin, Jennifer Ann Dirksen. Colin Wesley Arthur Doherty, Adam Dreger, John Durland. I'm sure many of you want to give a round of applause to your special graduate. Let's do that now. Christine Nicole Ellis, Yusuf Adam El Sohemi, Aaron Arench. Stephanie Fair, Sarjeet Farmaha, Jonas Farovich. William W. Nicholas Fawcett, gold medalist. Allison Fearman, Nicole Amy Fillmore. Adriana Forrest, Robert Craig Gilchrist, Natalie Gondek. Kayla Lynn Catherine Gordon, Michael Douglas Grant, Jacob Matthew Green. Nathan Groskopf, Vishal Krishan Gupta, Matthew Helfand.
Keegan Hepp, Peter Laurie William Hill, Oliver Hutchison. Colin Gordon McDuff Hislop, Ajo Damon Ikarali, John Andrew Icola. David Isaac, Rachel Lee Islam, Christian Janice. Bruce Bay Jasavala, Troy Jesse Glenn Jasper, Spencer Jones. Alexander Kalujarovich, Sabur Mohammed Khan, Kathleen So Young Kim. Daniel Robert Kolenko, Melanie Elizabeth Cornia, Jacqueline Lakin. Aubrey Lang, Ryan Matthew Laponce. Jadiel Isaac Lara Gibel. Christos Lazarus, Gavin Paul William Labur, Avery Lee. Paulina Joy Lee, Serena Lee, Anne Leggett Wolf. Laura Emily Lapine. Gabriella Rose Levkov, Andrew Locatelli. Karen Liu, Colleen Jennifer McKeegan, Thomas Masterson. Joshua Daniel Matson, Mark Graham McCauley, Jeremy Patrick McLeish. Kayla Madawi, Anthony Stephen Minnelli, Erica Melissi Montesano.
Emma Nash Goldberg, Jacob Ian Newton, Charles Owen No. Catherine Orudzik, Rachel Margaret Phillips, Amanda Pizzardi. Emily Price, Jason Priest, Alexander Rabicki. Christopher Douglas Randall, Stuart Wesley Raffolo, Yasmin Satar Zadeh, Jacob Andrew Schmidt, Benjamin David Schnell, Christopher Scotland. <laughs> David Cipher, Bahare Chahangyan, Aruba Shaquille. Haya Shahab, Demetrius James Safakis, Amy Michelle Sigurdsson. Rebecca Sim, Jawan Son, Melanie Souza. Rachel Catherine Spreet, Kevin Martinus Spikerman, Mayra Fogel Sabrolo, Sirath Suleiman, Adam Samura, Brittany Thompson. Scott Thorner, Omar Toba, Christina Lisa Tomalino, <laughs> Dean Trinetti, Zachary Erbach, Eric Thomas Weiss. Jordan Daniel Weiss, Daniel Jack Weiss, Ashton Weeb, <laughs> okay. 
Ava Nicole Williams, Brent Michael Winston, Ryan Leslie Wolf. Jake Michael Wolishin, Julia Wolinska, Brian Wong. Lydia Yu, Jenna Ling Zaleski. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Mr. David Simmons, former president of our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Vice Chancellor. Who's excited? <laughs> Who just graduated from Western? Farah, why aren't you yelling? Come on, you just graduated. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Today, quite literally, is the first day of the rest of your life. So my challenge to you is to enjoy it. I don't think there's anything better in the world for our undergraduate graduates and there's masters and PhD students in the audience. That first degree, nothing is maybe having a child. Other than that, <laughs> nothing is better. So tonight, be with your family, be with your friends, and celebrate an achievement that is truly unique. On behalf of Western's Alumni Association, it's my honor to welcome you to a very exclusive club. 290,000 people in the world have degrees from Western. Um, as an alumni, you're brought together by moments, moments that matter and memories that matter. And our mission as an alumni association is to recreate those moments for you as you graduate around the world. So we have events across the world, literally across the world in Australia and Hong Kong, the United States, all across Canada, where we encourage you to come out and to fellowship with your fellow graduates. Uh, it's networks like this that give you the tools and the resources to reach your dreams and to achieve. Now, immediately following the ceremony, there's a little bit of a fellowship opportunity on the concrete beach. Everyone here gets a ring. Yes, a clock, no, it's a pin. It's not a ring. Sorry, you're not an engineer. You get a pin. Um, has your class on it. Uh, we want you to go to the beach and get that. Go to our website and sign up as well to get your alumni card and, uh, and your email address. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't take an opportunity at the last convocation ceremony of the 300th and 11th season to not reinforce the privilege that we have as university graduates. I said 290,000, and it is funny because it's a growing number. It's one of the largest in, in Canada, but it still is a very special privilege to have a university degree. I'm proud that at Western, more than half of our students are female. But as you heard from our honorary degree recipient, women do not have equal access to education around the world. We now have a privilege to help change that. One of our graduates is helping to change that. So my challenge to all of us who have a privilege, who have a unique gift, who have a network, is to continue that fight. Because until women and people who are marginalized are not just participating at parity, but are leading at parity, are deciding at parity, and are lifting at parity, there's social injustice in the world. <laughs> and
And I'm sure all of your faculty members and your parents and your loved ones know that at Western we don't stand for social injustice. So go out into the community, accelerate change, and do it in the way we teach you to do it here at Western, asking the tough questions. And through every word, deed, and action that you make, let it be a tribute to the time you spent here at Western. Congratulations. Go forward and know that the good name of Western follows you in all of your endeavors. And remember that when things get tough, things get a little bit uncomfortable, you're always welcome home. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Con Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned. <laughs>